Hello, Mr. Barton here, and in this video we're going to look at how you go about adopting our scheme of work. Now this is the first step that everybody needs to do, which is going to lead you on the path that's going to save you so much time and effort in the future. So all we need to do is go to diagnosticquestions.com and sign ourselves in, and we do that by clicking top left here, and going to the sign in, and popping down our username and our password. Now it's important to note at this stage that it doesn't matter if you're not the admin of the school or the head of department, any teacher can create their scheme of work and I'm going to show you in a later video in this series how you can go about sharing that scheme of work with your colleagues and adopting other colleagues schemes of work and so on. But in this video we're going to look at adopting our own scheme of work from scratch. So when you log in you get to the teacher dashboard page and what you're going to want to do is navigate yourself to the scheme of work page and to do that again we're going to go top left and that's the way you're going to navigate your way all around the diagnostic questions site. So we go to scheme of work. Now I've signed in as Mr Dumbledore and very sad news here Mr Dumbledore doesn't have any schemes of work and hence his calendar is completely blank but fear not we are going to adopt him a lovely scheme of work. So if you go to the plus button you'll get a choice of all the default schemes. We've got AQAs, OCRs and edX cells. So the first thing you're going to need to do is decide which exam board you're following for GCSE. Uh, at Hogwarts here we are following AQA so I'm going to adopt the AQA foundation scheme and I'm going to adopt the AQA higher scheme. You can adopt as many or as few as you like and when you're happy just click done at the bottom there. Now those schemes of work will then be added to uh, Mr Dumbledore's calendar page and here they are there. Now I'm just going to talk you through what this page actually shows you. Uh, you'll notice here we've got the AQA Foundation Scheme of Work and that's comprised of two separate modules. The AQA 10F which is the Year 10 Foundation module and the AQA 11F which is the uh, AQA Year 11 Foundation module. Uh, at the moment the 10 uh, 10 foundation module is highlighted and you can see essentially we've got the entire year 10 foundation year starting in September. It's very colourful and each of these colours represents a different area of mathematics where blue is geometry and measures and this lovely kind of limey colour is number and you can see that each of those weeks is taken up by different topic units of varying lengths. So basic number here we can see is just half a week whereas factors and multiples takes up the rest of that week and then half of the next and so on and the year just progresses all the way down. We've also got loads of dots uh, floating around here. Now these dots are assignments for uh, the students and I'm going to talk more about these when we go about assigning your scheme of work. But essentially these are the automated assessments that your students get at various points of the year and you don't need to worry about those once your scheme of work is set up. Uh, to change between modules if you want to have a look at the year 11 one just click on it and it will be selected and so on. And if you want to look at higher, then it'll be no surprise, you'll do that. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, wait a minute, I want to change the order that these are being taught. What the flipping heck's going on in scale diagrams and bearings? What does that mean? And so on. I want to change the name. Don't worry about it. The purpose of this first video was just to get you to adopt your first scheme of work. We're going to look at all that other stuff in the videos that follow. So take care and I will see you on another video.